Welcome to Discovery Time. It's so nice to have you back, and today we're talking about something that I've been waiting to talk to you about for a while now. And finally, I think we're ready to do it. So about a week ago, I was walking through the woods with my mom on a hike, and we came across this big puddle. And in the puddle, there were all these dark spots. So we were wondering, what could these be? As we got closer, we started to realize that they were a bunch of small balls all collected together. My mom took a bucket and we scooped them up with some water to get a closer look. Here's what they looked like up close. Before I tell you any more, now's a good time to pause the video and guess what are these and why do you think I was really excited to see them? What could they be? So I'm sure you had a lot of interesting ideas as to what these could be in the picture and what my mom and I found. So what we actually think they are, are frog eggs. These are eggs that have been laid by a full-grown frog in the puddle. And they were left there because the frog thought that might be a safe place for the baby frogs to grow up. However, this spot where the puddle was, was right in a place where cars drive by. So we thought we might need to take some of these eggs with us to keep them safe and allow these frogs to grow up. So we took some of the eggs and we put them in a bucket full of water from that same puddle. Then we took them home and we left them outside in the bucket for about a week. For a long time, nothing changed. They looked exactly the same. But then a few days, this is what it looked like. Notice how much bigger the eggs look this time around. It was almost like overnight they doubled in size. And on the inside where there used to just be a black dot, now they were longer. It almost like they were growing little bodies. Look here in this video. You can even see the little bodies inside the eggs twitch every once in a while. You might have to be patient, but look closely and you'll see some of them moving. Now, if we're correct that these are frogs' eggs, it means they're going to hatch, and when they hatch, they're going to be called tadpoles. Tadpoles are what you call baby frogs, and they don't look like frogs when they first hatch. They're very different. And so we are going to find out, as scientists, what these tadpoles look like and how they grow up to be frogs. So for today, what I want you to do is take out some paper and start keeping track of all the different stages that we've seen so far. Just like in science, we do observational drawings of flowers or stick bugs. We're going to do the same now. We're going to do observational drawings of the two stages of the eggs that we've seen so far. So here's the first stage. This is when the eggs were a little bit smaller, and on the inside there were just black dots. And here's the second stage. The eggs got a lot bigger, and on the inside those black dots got longer into black lines. So, so far those are the two stages we've seen. As we go forward, we're going to check in on our tadpoles every few days, and I'll show you pictures and videos of what they look like. Start to think, what do you think it's going to look like? So all you have to do at this point is make two drawings, one of the first stage, one of the second stage, and make sure you hold on to those drawings because as we go forward, we want to collect them all together and we'll track the whole growth of an egg all the way to a tadpole ending as a frog. 
Remember that when scientists make observational drawings, they try to make them as close to the real thing as possible. That means you're trying to make the colors match up and you want your drawing to look very similar to the real thing. This is how good scientists keep track of their thinking and keep all of their information together so they can notice changes later on. So have fun with this. This is going to be a long study that we look at over many different weeks and the tadpoles are going to get bigger and bigger as we're watching them. So don't forget, just be creative and have fun.